Okay, this is my rambling, ow. This is my rambling uh, unicorn. This is my rambling unicorn uh, Tesla hack project. So a few years ago, I got a RFID implant in my hand. Um, and I also around the same time pre-ordered a Tesla Model 3 um, with news and the idea that the car could be started with um, some type of RFID chip. So when I got my Model 3, um, they actually give you these valet cards that are like this. And conveniently, they're also only $5, so plus tax, so they're like eight fifty dollars something. Um, that means they're really easy to take and hack and rip apart. So what I find is kind of interesting is um, they come like this. And there's no identifier on the outside of the car card at all that says that this goes to your Tesla. So it kind of reminds me of like you get a like a hotel room key and they just scan it and like link it up to your car and it has some type of access control. Um, and it's, it's pretty interesting because say you were going to go park your valet or park your Tesla at a valet place and there's 30 other Teslas. How could they identify the outside of this card? So, um, I also have a, a Tesla service technician coming out to bring me a few more cards since I've ripped apart like my old cards. Um, and I kind of want to see like kind of what he goes through for this process or he or she or whoever um, to sync up the new valet cards I'm going to get to my car because there's some type of authentication that's having to go back and forth and whether I get that information from the computer or from the card. And i am able to scan this and i am able to get quite a bit of information, but it's not, let me find my, my rambling notes. They're somewhere. It's not as easy as obviously just um, scanning this data and writing it to my chip. Um, I guess I'm glad it's not that easy because then if not, everyone would be like, Ooh, we're just going to scan everyone's valet card and we got a new Tesla. Um, so the idea is to be able to take this out, either write the information to my current um, implant in my hand or to take this actual um, implant out and encase it in some type of glass or silicone and then inject it into my other hand. Um, I foresee being major issues as not the implant itself because I mean I'm covered in tattoos like really putting a like transponder implants not the worst thing in my body I also don't know if I'm ever gonna release this information or like these videos but um it's more of just my rambling thought and blog kind of like you know like when there's a murder and they're like oh we're in the lab dissecting the body and we were gonna give all the details about the body um Hopefully there will be nobody, but uh, it'll be kind of an interesting little journey um, through this like Tesla hack. And my ultimate goal is to be able to um, start my car, my Tesla, uh, with my RFID implant in my hand. Um, I think also there's some issues with uh, range on the chip implant I have currently. Uh, you can't just walk by somebody and scan my hand or the information on it. You've got to be very close, like millimeters close. Um, so I'm be curious to see like what kind of chip is in here when I take this uh, apart. So I guess for now, I bid you farewell, self.